Hi guys. Um, so yeah, this is our Q and A video. We're, we finally got to it. Got a bunch of questions on the table. Thank you so much for sending us so many lovely questions, especially Tumblr. Yeah. Yeah. I I we got some on Facebook, but Tumblr they're just um, crazy. We love you Tumblr. Like like <laughs> not all parts of Tumblr. There's there's scary parts of Tumblr too. But we like this part. You're very sweet. Thank you for sending us questions. Yes. All right. I'm gonna start. Who are your favorite authors? Ah, wow. Um, I'm gonna go with James Dashner because I'm obsessing with the Maze Runner. Okay, um, I have no clue. Uh, JK? Yeah, go for JK Rowling. Funny thing is that I can't really remember the name of my favorite author right now. <laughs> favorite book? Yes. Well, it's the guy that wrote Jurassic Park. Mm. Ah, good one. Yeah. Okay. Okay, I like I like Terry Pratchett and I like J.M. Barry and I really like Stephen King, but I think J.M. Barry is my favorite and I like Shakespeare, but that's such a cliche. But yeah, nerd. <laughs> How old are you? Well, I'm the oldest and I'm 22 years old. I'm 21. 20. 20. Babies. <laughs> is that a gray hair? No. Okay, so this one isn't actually a question. It was just like a comment we got that said. You should make more videos. <laughs> so yeah, um, we're working on a bunch at the moment. Anxiety attack. <laughs> yeah, but but with all the costumes we're trying to make and with like Shakespeare we're all company. like we're all like studying and trying to make our lives function <laughs> sort of. Um, Thank you for wanting us to make more videos. We're glad you like it. We're <laughs> glad you want more of us. <laughs> I think we um, made quite a lot this summer, to be honest. We, we've we've tried. tried hard. Yeah. Do you study or work? For what or as what? Okay, I'm an English student. Yeah, I studied Japanese, but then I dropped out of university, and now I'm just reading up on some English. I'm studying at uh, Business and social sciences, so uh, sciences, so it's uh, international business communication. She sounds smarter than she is. I study English with Anna, and we work like once a week with walking dogs for a shelter. So that's <laughs> plenty of work as for costumes us. makers for the Oldberg Shakespearean company that's gonna do as you like it this year. How long have you been cosplaying? I think <laughs> three or four years, I think. Well, we started in 2008. <laughs> yeah, 2008 yeah. was our first convention, yeah. I think. Three Hopefully. years, almost four. What's your favorite video you have made? Um, I really love our newest The Hobbit movie uh, video. I really love that one. I'm really proud of that one. Yeah, I, I think I gotta go with that one too. Yeah, it was just a struggle of like, because we were chasing sunlight, because uh, we had so many issues, you know, taking on the cost, like putting them on takes like four hours. At least, at least. If, if, if you're really yeah. fast. And basically, we're just driving in our little car <laughs> after the sunset, recording on like four or five different locations, and we're recording like blood, moon, midnight, and that didn't turn out too great. But still, we did it. It was hard. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and in, in a car, where it took us like 10 minutes to get in and out of it because we had so much stuff in the car yeah. and we were all like tied up in our costumes. It was horrible. I think like the reason we are so proud of it is because it's definitely the one we've worked the hardest for because yeah. we've managed to film in like five different locations in under 24 hours. I'm just gonna say that I'm really proud about the Hobbit video as well, but I personally enjoy the trailer for us playing Outlast <laughs> a lot. <laughs> I have laughed a lot oh at our screams in that video. It's very enjoyable, even though it's only like one minute long. You're an idiot. <laughs> okay, so we got a question here. This is like one of the few questions we got on Facebook. Uh, from our good friend Fabian. Stickweeds. Also called Stickweeds. Stickweeds. Yeah. On Facebook. He does really cool armor stuff. Yeah. You guys should really check it out. Um, he asks, will there be more cookies in the future? And for that, Fabian, we baked you these, 
a mountain of cookies. And there's your name on all of them. Fabian and Stickweeds. Yeah. Yeah, like yeah. we're so, gonna put and a link you know, up. If you want them, you just travel across the country. They're right here. Otherwise, yep. you can pause the video and lick the screen. Yeah. Yep. But yeah, basically, we put your name on all of them, and we worked hard. And so we'll devour them. Yeah. Yes. Well, I hope you. So I hope you appreciate the effort. If you guys want to check out Stickweeds, he's really awesome. Click, Click the, the cookie. cookie. How did you guys meet? <laughs> Damn. This is gonna get complicated. Yeah. Okay. Sit back. Get comfortable. All right. So, shouldn't we start with yeah, with yeah. us? Sure. Yeah. Well, Benjamin and I we met since well, we were like a year or two old, I think. Yeah. So Tiny. Then I met this one at a boarding school. Um, mm -hmm. That was like six years six ago. Six years ago, yeah. We met at college. At college. Yep. Yep. And then you said that we should totally invite that person over <laughs> for New Year's. So New Year's evening, I'd never met this strange person, right? Suddenly, this thing is inside my house. I haven't opened the door for you. Anything. Well, she invited you me. You broke so. into my home. You invited me. You knew. <laughs> and I just knew I'd love you forever. We went to SVS Con like five years, six years ago, mm -hmm. maybe. Um, and Benjamin wasn't there because he was in America at that time. Uh, the year after, uh, we were all going, and that's the first time I sort of like really met yeah. you guys. Yeah. Future conventions. Will you ever go to a con in another country? Well, I, I, we all really want that. I'm like hoping that one day I can go to like hopefully all of us, <laughs> but I dream of like San Diego Comic Con. I'd yeah. love that. Yeah. yeah. Or, or London. Yeah, London. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, we're talking about London. We want that's all closer. of them. Yeah. Like, yeah, London is closer, so that's yeah. cheaper. Yeah. <laughs> but I think, yeah, I think, like, San Diego Comic Con is probably yeah. the, like, biggest one. And there's like, Dragon Con. Too. Yeah, that's right. We definitely we really want, want to. Go. If, if yeah. you want us to go anywhere that you live, mm -hmm. please write to us, because, you know, if it's Germany, perhaps we have a chance if it's yeah. Sweden, Norway. Yeah. We'll put it on a list <laughs> and we'll see if we can ever afford We'd going. We'd love to meet you. Yeah, I like, would. We love you, but we don't really know you. Yeah. That's weird. You just made it so strange. Yeah. Just cut it out. <laughs> yeah, I'll cut that out. I won't cut it out. <laughs> but we're actually going to uh, Kuyukon here in November. Yep. And then yep. we're doing the You So Girl act. Yeah. yeah it's really. Weird, silly, <laughs> and, and because we're such amazing singers, we'll be doing a Le Miserable act at um, Yankee mm -hmm. 2016. Yeah, yep. we're considering Hydrocon as well next year. Maybe, and we don't think we can afford J-pop because J-pop is an expensive bitch. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> just the transport is horrible. Yeah, yeah. upcoming cosplays. Well, we're doing the Le Miserables at the moment. So, yep. Yeah. And we're gonna do um, Assassin's Creed 3 yeah. at some point at in some the future. Point, yeah. <laughs> okay, what was your first cosplay and convention? And what's your biggest cosplay achievement? <sighs> right, my first cosplay was 1010 for J PopCon 2000. Uh, I, I think, yeah, my first cosplay was Iceland from Hitalia. Oh. Uh, yeah, and, and no. <laughs> <laughs> My first cosplay was Rima Toya from Vampire Night. I think the biggest like achievement we made is probably Best Craft from J Pop with the yeah. Hobbit. Yeah, that's probably like the, the Hobbit biggest one. was amazing. Yeah, yeah. it was. Well, my first cosplay was with Benjamin, I went as uh, Tamari and we were Tenten and Tamari. We hope that our biggest cosplay achievement will be the me. Mm -hmm. And then when we're done with the me, we hope that our biggest <laughs> cosplay achievement will be Assassin's Creed. Yeah. yeah, we'll upgrade, like we'll level up. Aim higher. When, when Stay life tuned. becomes hard, just think of it like you've leveled up. Best thing about cosplaying, have you made any friends through cosplay? No. <laughs> okay. Nope. Um, yeah, I've met some friends through cosplay. That idiot, that idiot. Okay, but best thing about cosplaying is that it doesn't matter who you are or 
how much your life sucks because you can be fucking video character. You can be whatever the fuck you want and nobody can tell you that you can't. Or they can try, but it won't work. <laughs> you can be George Washington. I mean, yeah. Yeah. I think, uh, I think it's great that you can sort of bond over something as silly as a love for a fictional character because that's basically what we do. We just, we enjoy our own characters and we enjoy each other's characters and yeah, we spend a lot of time like sewing and we plan cosplays and we plan conventions and there it, it really is a lot of work but we always have fun. I think that's probably the best part. It's always fun. Yeah, our biggest issue here in Pixie Pogus is to not laughing when we're filming and recording and all that. Yeah. So it's it's a lot of fun and you can be a badass character and and people when people love your cosplay and want pictures you get all proud and warm. I, I really love that feeling. Yeah, I really like being able to like express myself through a costume and get to like perform and do videos and stuff. I really think that's really cool. Mm -hmm. And yeah. also you meet some really great people. Yeah. And you learn so much from making costumes. That, like um now we're doing this Shakespeare company thing and um it's definitely a career path, you know, not cosplaying, but, but making costumes for movies and theater that aren't going to go down. So I think it opens your eyes to, to a whole new level of creativity. Ooh, that was deep. It was. Yeah, it was very <laughs> deep. Take it off. Hey guys, from what I understand, you guys make a lot of acts. Are they available somewhere? Where can I find them? All right, I think this is a bit tricky because okay. we usually when we like do acts for uh, a convention, we try our hardest <laughs> to like record it on our own, but we always have trouble uh, with our cameras. Um, so a lot of times uh, someone else uh, records the act and puts it up on their YouTube site, and we try to like link to it like quite quick after the convention, but we just can't really just copy the videos and nope. put it up on our own channel. But we'll make it really easy, we'll actually link to them here. If you click on Regis Hit, you will go straight to our Hobbit um, act. Woo! <laughs> Here's our Left for Dead 1 act. Here's our Left for Dead 2 act. Have we done anything else? Well, we did the Merlin act. Does that even exist on YouTube? I hope not. <laughs> That was a long I time ago. I was not ago. a part of that. I'm just. Oh, uh, our Howard and Peggy. Howard and yeah, Peggy. Yeah, right Peggy. here. Woo, yeah. yeah. We also do have um, a playlist. Yeah. Uh, called like Pixie Poker Acts or something like that. But this is easier um, if you're watching this. Yeah, of course. But then you can always go in under our profile uh, on YouTube and find it under our acts. Yeah. Yes. Oh, last question. Last question. <laughs> What's your biggest cosplay dream? I would love to get invited to a big international con and maybe be a judge or something. That would be really, really awesome, but yeah, it's a big dream. I think the biggest cosplay dream is just getting to go to an international convention. I think the biggest dream when it comes to cosplaying is when you fully put on a character. Like, you become a character. Like, not for your entire life, but just for that day. That you embrace it totally and people see it. Like you are the character. Not in just real your life. Yeah, not just yourself mm -hmm. in a yeah, costume. Exactly. Yeah. I think uh, we all of course dream of going international at some point, but I would love to one day have the skills to make something very impressive completely on my own. Because I'm really a newbie with everything. <laughs> like I can't even cut fabric. <laughs> I don't want any comments, um, but but like I'm very impressed with armor making and people who can make these very impressive uh, like characters from like I know World of Warcraft is very impressive with armors and stuff and they all make it out of warbler and it's painted beautifully and mm -hmm. it has lights and everything. I think that's very impressive and I really love to see that. Yeah. So last question. It's no more. Yeah. No more. So. Time to eat cookies. Yeah, yeah. Cookies. yeah. It's just, it hasn't got your name on it, but who cares? Well, <laughs> thank you guys for watching. And thank and you for sending us all these questions. Yeah. We've Ch had a blast. Yeah. Yeah. Check out Stickweeds. Yeah, Seriously. Good.
Oh, thank yeah, you. Thank like, you. but it's the top ones because the the first one got kind of burned <laughs> because she didn't know. Like, <laughs> because Bye. someone else made them. Thank yeah. you. Bye. Bye.